Welcome back to volume two of our series covering the world's most popular websites according to SimilarWeb. In this video, we'll go over several categories and show you the most visited in each category based on the total number of desktop and mobile visitors each month. Let's get to it. We'll begin with the category News and Media Publishers. Coming in at number five is MSN. The site owned by Microsoft has a customizable and curated collection of news in various categories, along with a ton of ads I've had to block for the purposes of this video. In at number four, Globo is a very popular Brazilian news website covering a wide variety of categories. It also offers other services, including online shopping and email. Coming in at number three, Naver is a South Korean website offering various services, including news, email, an encyclopedia, and its very own search engine. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Yahoo Japan. It was originally formed as a joint venture between the American company Yahoo and the Japanese company SoftBank. On this site, in addition to news, it offers search, weather, email, shopping, and auctions. And speaking of the aforementioned Yahoo, the site takes the number one spot in the news and media publishers category with around 3.7 billion visitors per month. In addition to the news, they offer an email service and Yahoo Search, which is powered by Microsoft's Bing. Next up is the category Reference Material. Coming in at number five is Yelp. On the site, it crowdsources reviews from customers about businesses. It's the best place to get reviews for restaurants, and it's usually a more reliable source for reviews than what is found on Google. Speaking of Google, Google Maps takes the number four spot. The site offers satellite imagery, street maps, real-time traffic conditions, and directions traveling by car, foot, bike, air, and public transportation. Coming in at number three, Deeple is a neural machine translation service to translate texts and full document files, offering accurate translations for individuals and teams. In the runner-up spot, Core comes in at number two. The social question and answer website allows people to connect online to gain and share knowledge. And coming in at number one, Wikipedia is the most visited website in the reference material category with 4.4 billion monthly visitors. The site is a free online encyclopedia created and edited by volunteers. Now for the most popular websites in the health category, Medical News Today comes in at number five. On this site, it offers medical information and news targeted at both the general public and physicians. In the number four spot, WebMD is one most of you are familiar with. Founded way back in 1998, it offers the latest medical news can help you to self-diagnose certain conditions and has a huge database to get information about drugs and medications. Coming in at number three is the website for the Mayo Clinic, which is recognized as one of the top ranked hospitals in the United States. It offers an extensive database to find out about diseases and conditions. In the runner up spot, Healthline comes in at number two. Founded a year after WebMD in 1999, it's very similar to that site, offering medical information and health advice. And in the top spot, coming in at number one in the health category, is the website for the National Institutes of Health for the United States, with around 219 million visitors per month. The primary purpose of the NIH is for conducting and supporting medical research, some of which is highly controversial. The sports category is interesting to me because I haven't heard of most of these. ESPN Crick Info comes in at number five. Based in the United Kingdom, the sports news website from ESPN is dedicated to the game of cricket. In at number four, AS, simply spelled AS, is a website based in Spain that covers a wide variety of sports that seems to have a heavy focus on football, or as we call it here in the US, soccer. Coming in at number three, CrickBuzz is an India-based website dedicated to cricket. It features news and live cricket matches, including videos, text commentary, player stats, and team rankings. In the runner-up spot, Marca comes in at number two. Also based in Spain, this is another site primarily focused on football. They also have news for other sports as well, including Formula One. And coming in at number one in the sports category is ESPN, who call themselves the worldwide leader in sports. While they do cover a wide range of sports, 
There's an emphasis on covering news about American football, the NBA, and Major League Baseball. Up next is the games category, and coming in at number five is the community website for the popular PC gaming platform, Steam. On their community site, users ask and answer questions, share interests, and discuss various topics related to games available on Steam. In at number four is the storefront for Steam, where you can buy games and check out your library of games you've purchased on the platform. On a side note, their seasonal Steam sales are a great way to buy games heavily discounted. Coming in at number three, if you're a fan of chess, the website chess.com is a fantastic place to play chess for free online. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Roblox. If you're a parent with children, you should be familiar with this one. On this gaming platform, it allows users to program games and play games created by other users. And in the top spot, coming in at number one is Twitch with around 1.1 billion visitors each month. Owned by Amazon, the site is primarily focused on video game live streaming, including broadcasts of esports competitions. We'll now take a look at the most popular real estate websites, and coming in at number five is Trulia, which is now a subsidiary of Zillow. It shows real estate listings and housing data for properties across the United States. In the number four spot, Rightmove, based in the United Kingdom, is the largest online real estate platform showing properties for sale and available to rent in the UK. Redfin comes in at number three. Like many of its competitors, it shows real estate listings across the US for sale and rent. I personally use this one because it seems to provide more pertinent housing data than the others. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Realtor.com. It shows homes for sale, along with apartments and houses for rent in the US. Having used it, it's my least favorite in this category due to the insane number of third-party ads on its website and mobile app. And coming in at number one in the real estate category is Zillow with around 348 million visitors each month. While they do make it simple to find real estate listings across the US, the one downside is the housing data seems to be more limited than most of its competitors. The restaurant and delivery category includes official sites for restaurants, food delivery services, and others affiliated with restaurants. Domino's, the famous pizza chain, takes the number five spot. Coming in at number four, OpenTable is a site to make online reservations at restaurants, read restaurant reviews from diners, and earn points towards free meals and gift cards. In at number three from the folks at Uber is their online food ordering and delivery platform, Uber Eats. In the runner-up spot coming in at number two is Toast. Unless you're in the restaurant business, you may have never heard of this one. Toast is a restaurant point of sale and management system designed to help restaurants improve operations. In the top spot in restaurants and delivery, coming in at number one with around 67 million visitors a month is DoorDash. Similar to Uber Eats, this is another online local restaurant food ordering and delivery service. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What are your favorite websites that you visit most often? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our useful website series and other tech-related stuff.